the thing about either uh, long-term hold deals or actually, you know, doing deals that are considered turnkey, those that are either passive or you're actively involved in them. The thing is that that's where your wealth building portfolio comes from. That's where you're going to have lasting income that's going to be repeatable without having to go buy a property, fix it up, sell a property, buy a property, fix it up, sell a property, buy a property, fix it up, sell a property. You're going to, you know, take advantage of the tax advantage, depreciation, as well as the regular income that's going to come from those units. But you still have to buy right. You have to make sure you're in the right market area so that you can command really steady income from that property. You can go get some low hanging fruit, but then you'll constantly be able to, you'll be constantly turning that property over with tenants and repairs, stuff like that. So still have to look at market areas. I mean, I'm, I'm a big one. I love flipping when it's time to flip, when it's the market is high and everybody's, you know, is scammering to get in because it is basically, you know, a seller's market, that type of thing. But when that shift happens, like in a lot of markets across the country right now, doing turnkeys is really a great way to build that wealth portfolio, but you just have to do it right. And for Quan, you know as well as I do, uh, acquiring a turnkey and then being able to apply, apply leverage to that transaction where you're taking one set of capital, let's just say you're taking $70,000. You're going in, acquiring and fixing up a property that you're gonna hold long-term and then you wanna apply leverage. Well, once you get done with it, it can't be worth $70,000. It's gotta have some added value to that up and beyond the income coming from it. So we always like to position deals, especially on turnkeys, where we're looking at 68 cents acquisition and renovation on the dollar, okay? And then being a situation where that puppy's going to be worth about a hundred thousand. We're just using nice round numbers. Uh, most of the deals that we do are going to be somewhere in that ninety to ninety-six thousand dollar number acquisition renovation, getting it tended up and performing, and then easily market value is going to be one twenty-nine, one thirty-four, or maybe even a little bit higher, and that allows that partner to come in or us to even say we're going to apply leverage we're going to pull back all of the capital that initial 93 or 96 thousand dollars we put in that deal and now we can go duplicate the same thing but we're using the same set of money over and over and over again even though our portfolio still continues to grow by applying leverage